is going on everybody hope all is well with you and all that good stuff listen <clears throat> make sure you all share this video um i know uh yes a lot of you all probably been like some of you have been enjoying the videos and some of you have not i have seen a lot of the uh <clears throat> the negative comments and uh to be honest with you hey what's up everybody and to be honest with you <laughs> that is okay i'm actually working on this video for king jives 2 page um you all i'm working on king jives 1 um that one is kind of down right now i'm able to upload but hey what's up everybody um I am still able to upload. Um, I, because of that Jasmine Elon situation, um, I've had some people to to do some things, and so it is okay. Um, God bless, praise the Lord. Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, so let's let's just get into this. <clears throat> when it gets down to the gospel industry, when it gets down to the gospel industry. Uh, Miss Jersey D, I am going to call you as soon as I get off this. I need to put a hat on because I need to get a haircut. Um, when it comes down to the gospel industry, I'm, I'm going to say this because I can say this about the Winans. I can say this about the Clarks, the Pace, Tamala Man, them, and everything. You know, what we see, especially in the gospel industry, wait a minute because I got to finish up this contract especially in the gospel industry, people feel as if they could just pray, they could eat kubo, shanda, la, 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 sanda, and all this other stuff like that, and all their problems are going to go away. Well, you forgot about the one scripture. I'm telling y'all, listen, I I'm so serious. There's a picture that I got. I'm serious. I'm, I'm doing this video. I'm working on this Jesse Smollett video and this Jasmine Island video. Um, this little girl... <clears throat> And this is honestly my thoughts right now. Um, Y'all see this? <laughs> she picking up Egypt and throwing away the Bible. Honestly, I'm gonna tell y'all something. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really in a place of I understand. I'm gonna tell you why I understand. Is because people love, people love to skim over the Bible. That makes sense. People love to skim over the Bible, but they don't read. White folks said this, if you ever want to hide something, if you ever want to hide something, hey, what's up all my moderators? How are you all doing? I hope all is well, my loves. Thank you all for being on today. Uh, yes, King is on one. I'm going to tell y'all, I have been sick. My sinuses have been cutting a hundred, but we here. All right. If you ever, ever want to hide something from a black person, put it in a book. Put it in a book. They ain't going to read. You know, and I, I really, I'm going to have to chop this video up with the Breakfast Club because <clears throat> this made so much sense. Monique was sitting there talking and here comes Charlemagne Leonard or Leonard or whatever his name was. Uh, was on there talk. Hey, boo. You all live. I'm on uh, my after party channel. Oh. Hey, boo. <laughs> <laughs> call me, call me. Live? Yeah, I'm live right now. Bye. All right. People do not read and they do not listen. So. You know, for all these folks talking about God going to make a way somehow and the Lord going to do it and all this other stuff like that. Listen, how you praying and the Lord told y'all what to, what to do and what not to do? How y'all praying and God told you how to take care of your bodies? Even in the word of God, the word of God. I, I, baby, listen, I, I feel something. Y'all... Y'all share this video. Hey, y'all, what's up? I feel something. Mm -hmm. I feel something. So, I, 
All of these gospel legends, let me tell y'all something. All of these gospel legends have died for multiple of reasons. High blood pressure, let me get in the right key, high cholesterol, diabetes, heart attack, stroke, all kinds of things. But y'all, I'm believing God. How you, how you, is it, am I in the right, am I in the right key? Yeah, I am. How are you believing God when you constantly stuff your body? Hello, you are constantly stuffing your body with things that you don't need to be eating. Oh, she come on and say, that's it right there. Don't none of them exercise. Don't none of them hit the gym. Don't none of them do none of this stuff. But we yet and still, uh, we up here dancing and shouting. He come on the old sanda. No. Listen, I'm so serious. If you are, I'm just, hey, this just me. This is my opinion. This is my opinion. This is my opinion. If you are constantly going back and forth to the doctor, shelling out money that you could be spending somewhere else when you can be taking the time to take care of this temple, but you are out here singing praises to God. Oh, shot. That's a rebuke. <laughs> Ouch. That's a rebuke. Okay. Hey, Miss G, what's up, everybody? That's a rebuke. How, how is it that I'm, I'm be, listen, y'all can disagree down in them comments. That's fine. That's fine. Cause you know, y'all probably be sucking on some pork chops and some, 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 um, some, some chitterlings. Don't get me wrong. I used to eat it too. But when I found out that certain foods and things are not good for my body, I was like, I don't want to leave, but I got to go right now. I won't be back before you know it. I don't want to leave, but I got to go right now. I had to go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had to let it go. You know what I'm saying? I had to. I Because I'm going to tell you something. Every time I ate pork, I got a headache. Every time I ate pork, I got sick. Every time I ate pork, I felt dizzy. Every time I had pork, I, you know, it was just something going on with my body. And I'm like, wait, when I stop eating it, what's up? When I stop eating it, I start to flush my body and clean my body and, and, and take out all the toxins and stuff. I start feeling better. I start, you know, skin start getting a little lighter and everything. I was like, woo! Anyways. <laughs> so my thing is this you do whatever you want to do but baby it goes back to preaching how you gonna preach to me huh how you gonna preach to me and you sick broke busted and disgusted whoa shun the old side How you going to preach to me? So anyways, y'all, with all these singers, even like I looked at the Winans, and I remember how Ron Winans, I think I, if, I'm, if I'm correct, I'm, I just want to make sure I have this correct. Ron Winans died from a heart attack. But let's look at Ron Winans. Ron Winans was a big dude. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have thickness running the family. That's a lie, cause the mama was skinny, the daddy was a a, a, a muscular, like kind of, you know, stocky dude. CC Winans was not fat. She was a little fluffy at times, but she was not fat. Look at uh uh uh, uh Marvin Winans is fat. That's because he preaching all the time and eating late at night. So again, it's like when our gospel legends, when our gospel legends. End up, we end up going to their fume and they look all fat, fluffy, and all and everything like that. Then we looking like, how they die? Diabetes. How they die? On top of me. How they die? A heart attack. 
They had corroded arteries around the heart. So you mean to tell me, okay, I think I got all of them. So you mean to tell me out of all of this, God is gonna move. Ah. Okay, let me get my right key. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Out of all this preaching, and we talk God in the next 24 hours, God is gonna make a way out of no way. Touch your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I see a miracle. Take me out of that key. I feel a miracle in the next day, the next 24 hours. God, God is making a way out of no way. Lord, I feel, oh Lord, he gonna do it. Yes, he will. Sometimes why? Skinny a rinky dinky do. Take me out of that key. Yeah. Don't tell me what God can't do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh Lord. Yeah. 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 Woo. 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 So you mean to tell me, you mean to tell me out of all of this stuff that we do, you still eat unhealthy, you still get sick, you still paying all the doctors and everything that you worked hard for, you end up dying a horrible death because you chose to not take care of yourself? I'm just saying, y'all, I'm just saying, you mean to tell me out of all that preaching of the Bibles, you mean to tell me out of all that singing the good gospel of Jesus Christ, you mean to tell me you still dying of heart disease and corroded arteries? Now, that's not to say that somebody healthy can't die from a heart attack. That's not to say that somebody can't die from getting hit by a truck or anything like that. But whatever I can do to prevent a, 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 a death from my body shutting down, let me do that. Uh, Fallon, okay, you said Kimberell still be. Here's the thing. While we're out here going to let the doctor cut on us, y'all can y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. Ah, yeah, yeah. I need y'all to take me down. Take me down. Now. Uh, mm, that's it right there. Ooh. All right, so listen. Out of all of this, let allowing the doctor, out of all this, allowing the doctors to cut on us, you still go back to the same habits. So again, just like with the Pace sisters, now from what I've seen, from what I've seen, now LaShawn Pace is on a vegan diet. So out of all these years of singing, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Out of all these years of singing and late night musicals and eating horrible and stuffing your face with burgers and stuff like this, out of all this singing for Jesus Christ, you get up in age and now your body is a wreck. I, I, can't, I can't get no help. I, I can't get no help. Now, now, out of all this years of living horrible, out of all these years, uh, now let me go here, because I, I saw Tamala Mann, and I watched Tamala Mann them, 
And yes, they have had a show and they've lived their lives publicly. But what I can say about Tamla Man, them, Tamla, David, and, and their children is they're not afraid to go and get help. You understand what I'm saying? They may not be as popular as the next, but what they show, what I've seen through them, they're not afraid to go and get help. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the rest of these folks want to be, oh, God is, is a, God is a healer. I'm in the wrong key. God is a healer. God is going to make a way out of no way. Oh, God. Oh, God. I believe. No. How about this? How about this? Because what we've done as ignorant Christian people, what we've done is we've been so dependent on God, Yahweh, the heavenly host, to bring themselves down here and, and, and to make a way out of no way when he said, I've given you the tools, baby, oh God, I've given you the tools that you need to take control of your life and to live a long time. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. I've given you the tools to live a healthy life. Y'all don't like this type of teaching right here because y'all want to be sucking on crabs. And no, don't get me wrong, honey, because I love. Hey, Kobe, what's up? So what I'm getting at is this right here. Not only because we've been talking about the Clarks ever since this stuff has come up. Okay. We've been talking about the Clark sisters and I'm not going into to their family stuff because I'm like, I listen here. My family's fucked up. Okay. We, we all got some issues. Okay. I got a cousin that, you know, I'm like, I got a cousin, a brother, an uncle that I just, you know, Hey, I just don't want to deal with. Okay. I just, you know, when we come in family functions, I'm like, woo, praise God. All right, hey, what's going on? You look good, all right. And we moving, you know what I'm saying? But, there come, like, I, I know for me, with, I can personally say this. If I get to the point where I start doing that, I know that I've done almost everything to try to help you. And to me, this is honestly how I feel. To me, if I, if I see individuals doing that, like the Clarks, I can possibly believe that these individuals more than likely have exhausted all avenues of trying to make things work with family. Sometimes with family, it's just like, you know what, baby, I love you, but you're going to have to miss me. And I don't care if you get on all these social sites and act a fool. I don't care if you get on all these social sites. I'm not been a fool with you. Period. Period. I don't give a rat's patootie. What you feel, and you can get out here and say, my sister did me wrong. My brother did me wrong. He done got rich, and he don't care nothing about me. You know probably, you, you, you know why I probably don't care nothing about you? It's because I've probably given you thousands of dollars. And every time I give you thousands of dollars, what do you do? You take my money that I give you, and you throw it to waste. Hello? I just cast my pearls to the swines. Baby, I'm out here making hundred thousands of dollars every other month and carrying on, and I hand you four thousand dollars, and what you do? Smoke it up. Hell no. You think I'm gonna cast my pearls on to the swines? Now when I got bills that I gotta pay to, and whatever you need to do on your own. I'm in need to take care of your own self because I can't take care of you and you keep throwing your money down the drain. Period. 
I, you keep throwing your money down the drain. Matter of fact, you don't keep throwing your money down the drain. You keep throwing my money down the drain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you handle that. I'm going to let you handle that. Honey, listen here. See, see, this is what the preacher need to be preaching right here. This is what the preacher need to be preaching. All of this, uh, 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 you're going to be blessed. No, let me teach you how to be successful. Because what does the word say? What does is, what is this Bible say? What, what does the Bible say? I wish above all. Woo! I feel, I feel, I feel getting at that Hammond B3. I wish above all that you would prosper and be in good health even as your soul prosper. So what, what is that telling me? What is that telling me? That I want your soul to prosper. That's a given. Hello. But everything that's on the outside, your family, your health, your money, your business, your connections, your life, your love life, I need all of that to prosper. Even as your soul prosper. That's why I felt Ikanda la 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 shanda. Iba ba 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 ba. Ikanda la ta satai. Sheko mosi. So I'm just I'm I'm being honest when I say this. The Lord wants everything in your life to prosper. So when it comes down to the Clarks. The Winans. Matter of fact, let's go back and let's look at Marvin Winans them. What did Marvin Winans... Okay, do y'all remember the video with Marvin Winans and Vicky Winans? And Vicky Winans got up and she uh, made her public apology to everybody in the church because that's what she felt she needed to do. She had to make some things right. You get what I'm saying? Again, you have to do what you have to do because it... Everything needs to prosper. Y'all around here eating good because you singing in Kano, but your soul and your spirit, man, is fucked up. So, sometimes we need to make situations right. Sometimes we need to make situations right because the wrong that we done is eating up our spirit and our soul and our soul is turned black because we ain't made things right. So whether it's the Clark sisters, the Winans, BBCC, uh, the Pay sisters, LaShawn, D Duranis, all of them. Baby, when you have situations going on, you need to make situations right because it's going to eat at your soul. Everybody don't die from a heart attack. Sometimes you die because you are black. You are black. You have cross people. You have done people wrong. You have done people dirty. And you out here singing about going up a yonder. Ba -ba -bum -bum -bum. Going up a yonder to see my Lord. And y'all out here preaching to folks, talking about folks going to hell. No, baby, when you stand before him uh, and you see him <laughs> just as he is. See, when you see him just as he is, he not going to talk about you about I'm saved, sanctified, and baptized, and filled with the Holy Ghost. No, he going to talk to you about your black, wicked heart. How are you out here preaching about holiness is right and salvation and all this other stuff like that, and you got an evil, wicked heart? That's for the folks who believe in heaven and hell. How you gonna preach about sanctification? King and Prince. King, if you fight Prince one more time, it's gonna be me and you, pimp. Prince and King. Excuse me, I'm trying to get my children together. Prince and King. Don't make me come in that room. Listen. We have to give an account. How you gonna preach? How you how you gonna preach 
about sanctification and holiness. How are you going to preach about purity and all of this stuff like that when your heart is wrong? How are you going to preach about sanctification? How are you going to... Mothers? How are you going to try to tell another young lady how to be sanctified and holy when you are whole and your daughter's out here having babies every nine months? Hello? The Bible says, the, Bi the, Bi the Bible says, I'm in the wrong key. I'm going to be A flat. The Bible says, yes, that's it right there. The Bible says, holiness. Without no man shall see the Lord. Whoa. I just stopped by to let you know that you gotta preach. Oh. You gotta preach what you live. And in the words of Dorinda, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just, I'm just trying to help somebody, okay? Because I see so many people caught up in all kinds of things and things and stuff like that. I have oh, one guy who follows me. They want me to talk about uh, the LGBTQ and the gays, lesbians and stuff over in Africa. And I said to him, I said, sir, I've been talking about this for a long time, okay? I've been talking about this for a long time. But see, don't nobody want to hear what I'm saying. But ironically, y'all just give it time. It comes to pass. Or oh, yes, it comes to pass. So whether or not, whoever it is, whether you want to believe it or not, the gay's been here for a long time. So while y'all out here preaching and doing things behind closed doors, God has a way of allowing what's done in the dark comes to the light. God has a way of exposing you through time. God has a way. Do you not understand? Because this ain't even about the gays and stuff like that. But do you not understand that Do you not understand that if you really read, all of us can be free? Do you not understand that if you really read that Holy Bible and you really peel them pages back and dissect what it's saying, some of y'all will go somewhere and sit down and shut your mouth and always out here judging somebody else. Do you know what I've been saying since day one? I've been telling folks, listen, if we're going to slap somebody upside the head with the Bible, you just make sure you got your seat together, period. If you're going to slap somebody upside the head and tell them how quick and how fast they're going to hell, you just make sure that you got your life in order, period. Yeah, because again, I'm going to tell y'all this. The reason why we, we got so much of a high rate of killings and, 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 and HIV rate and all this other stuff in the church is because black folks especially love carrying secrets. Black folks love carrying secrets. It's them secret things that's going to kill you. Show sure enough. It's them hidden things that's going to kill you. Y'all trying to hide. You got babies and you trying to hide the babies and you trying to pay the baby mama off to your bishops and things. You trying to hide the baby mama and hide your boyfriends and carrying on and stuff like that. See, it's some hidden sins. It's some things that folks can't see is what's going to take you out of here. I can't get no help. Uh, in this place. I don't hear nobody. I'm just trying <laughs> Trying to help somebody on the day Oh, yeah Listen, so
So as it relates to all of these singing groups, all of these gospel artists, all of this stuff that's going on, I ask the question, I ask the question, how can we sing? Is my living in vain? Boom, boom. Is my praying in vain? No, of course not. It's not all in vain. Oh, okay. Yeah, like you said, it's not all in vain. But all that you do will be in vain if you've lived and preached and sung a lie. I can't get I can't get nobody in here. Cause up the road is eternal gain. No, ain't no up the road. <laughs> ain't no up the road. Okay? Ain't no up the road. There's no up the road for you. Cause you're gonna get to the you gonna listen, you're gonna get to the you gonna get to the master's table. Hey King! What you, what's this? This is the key to you to go and unlock that door over there and slide your ass down that pole because you're going to hell. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying you are. I'm being silly. But for years, you're telling people, you're going to hell, 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 you're going to hell. But where are you going? But where are you going? Where are you going? Huh? You think you're gonna just slide yourself on up in the heaven? The upper room when Jesus walk. No, you're not going to the upper room. Hello, you're not going to the upper room. You're going to down yonder. Hello, you've been so judgmental and self righteous. Oh, God, you've been so judgmental and self-righteous, but you forgot to make sure you secured your seat. Huh? Right, Juan, where is any of us going? Honey, we don't know. All we know, the Bible say, the Bible say, the Bible say what, what, what's going to happen. But all we can do is in the words of Le Duval. Living my best life, uh, uh, ain't going back and forth with you niggas. Living my best life, ain't going back and forth. I'm going to live my, yay. Shalalalala, Sunder. I'm going to call my, 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 my. Oh, shalalala, yes, I do. I'm going to live my best life. I'm going to live my best life. Y'all stand stuck in these churches trying to prove and please people and dress up, dress a mess. Because some of y'all look a mess. You look a mess. I'm going to tell y'all something. Now, I, I, I take my time with, with religion now. I do. I take my time with religion now. Thank y'all. You know, y'all want to cash at me? <laughs> I feel like Gucci, man. Cash at me now. Must be epic. <laughs> Y'all can cash out me a blessing. God bless you. Because there's some good preaching here. You okay? This is good Monday, President's Day preaching right here. Uh-huh. See, uh, you, uh, dollar sign Demario Jives. Yes. Cash out dollar sign Demario Jives. Somebody put my cash app up there. Praise God. But no, honestly, um, we get so caught up with these churches and trying to trying to please everybody else. But what about to thine own self be true? Thank you, Miss Sheila. What about to thine own self be true? I gotta be true to me. I gotta make sure that I am not lying to myself. You, you got it? 
Honey, yes, we accept cards and everything. Praise God. But Cash App makes everything a lot easier. Praise the Lord. But, but honestly, but honestly, when we get through singing, it's just like the Clark Sisters song, their favorite song. Is my living in vain? Let that be your motto. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're the pay sisters. I don't care if you're none of that stuff. We walk around here singing the gospel and living a whole effed up mess. I can't do it. I, I can't do it. I, I'm, I'm not going to do it. Honey, it, it means nothing to me to sit up here and shout and speak in tongues and ya na 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 and look good on the outside and, and meanwhile I'm fudged up on the inside. I got all these folks on YouTube that want to come after me and talk trash about me, but baby, I'm saying I'm listen, and what that white man said, I'm giving you eternal life here. I'm trying to preach to you eternal life. I'm trying to help you live better, be better, all this other stuff. But everybody, but I got, I got, I got Geechees out here. Geechees. All they want to say is, you gay, you gay. Baby, how is that edifying somebody else's body? How, how is that edifying? Now, see, they need to have, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got to tickle myself. They need to have me at Ames World Youth Day. Who you sleep with? Praise God. Listen, have me preach at World Youth Day. I'm going to tell you, live your best life. Honey, we around here, we got Bibles and everything and stuff like that. And my thought is this right here. Honey, live your, live. Honey, we stay stuck in church 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day. And then we turn around and we eat unhealthy. We live unhealthy. We don't take care of ourselves. And all we do is stay stuck in the Bible. There's a world out here that the Lord wants you to experience. And what the, I'm telling you, the Lord leaves, he leaves nuggets. He, le he leaves nuggets. And he said, God said this in one of my other videos, let your light shine. I told you, I, I told you got trolls on here. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good works. So I, when I ask all you sanctified trolls, Let me just do this. Let me, I'm, I'm, I'm going to help all y'all sanctified trolls, y'all sanctified folks, is this. Is your light shining? Because you are full of, you are no better than the white people that are out here with the KKK. You are no better than, than, the, than the white supremacy. If all you want to do is preach faggot messages and preach hate and animosity, who are you really bringing? Matter of fact, matter of fact, and I, I'm standing, I'm standing on the course. How is that helping anybody? Because my question is, how do you live? Do you got your Do you got your stuff together? Are you living right? Do you got everything in order? Matter of fact, how is your health? Because I'm healthy. I, I had somebody coming on the other day talking about some, uh, your health ain't even good. Mm -hmm. It was a good word that was going to come out right there. You don't know anything about me. You just feel like because I am a, a particular way, you think you know something about me. But I am healthy. My medical records are A1 superb. And I'm just like, you around here with heartache, heart disease, and mainly half the folks that's up here being internet gangsters, they fat, ugly, uncomfortable, discontent, can't tankerous, and all kinds of stuff. But you behind on, on the computer want to talk about somebody else. Again, like the Clark sister said, is my living in vain?
is your living in vain? Because you're out here spewing hate and your light ain't shining nowhere. Ain't nobody coming to the Lord because of that mess you out here spewing. Your light ain't shining. You flickering. That's it. And, and people are going to continue to do all this crazy stuff and all this other stuff like that. People wait for me to even mention, but I got y'all. I'm, I'm, don't, don't you worry. I got you. But again, y'all, um, it is what it is. It is what it is. And to all, you know, I, I do want y'all to wake up. You know, I, I, I said I was going to stop saying that because a lot of folks say I'm woke. I'm woke. You know, when you woke, you just live differently. When you woke, certain stuff don't bother you no more. Like, I mean, you talking about it irritates your soul. Okay? You, you talking about it irritates your soul. But when you really woke, I need something to drink now. When you really woke, when you really woke, like you look at, at church folks and church things and you're just like, yeah, I'll holler at y'all. I'm not going to waste my time. Like, I, I ain't going to lie. I went to, I went to church some weeks ago. And I'm going to tell you something. And I'm so wrong for this. I'm so wrong. You know, Lord, Lord, forgive me. Praise God. Lord, forgive me. But I was listening to the preacher preach, and he was doing good. Don't get me wrong. Maybe I was on AliExpress like, hey, man, Pastor, you said that. And I got convicted in myself. I was like, I, I, I was like, dang, I'm in church on AliExpress. Pastor, hey, man, Pastor, preach. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And he was preaching. I'm listening, but I'm not listening. And, you know, we was up there skip bucking and jumping and carrying on because I'm like, I'm so over this rehearsed, I ain't lying, I'm so over this rehearsed, telling folks, get live right, do right, and all we do is we're, we're good storytellers, we're good storytellers, we're good storytellers, we're good storytellers. I mean, babe, we could tell a good fable story all day long. But at the end of the day, what is the word? This, this, this is what we get caught up in. The word says, fail not to assemble thyselves together. Fail not to assemble thyselves together. And I was talking to, I think the baby name was Monique. I was talking to Monique. And I told Monique this. When the Bible says, fail not to assemble thyselves together, it's pretty much like we're doing right now. We've assembled ourselves together and we're talking and we're gleaning from one another and we're learning and we're able to in, empower and encourage one another and go on to our separate places. And we're able to take what we've gleaned and what has been imparted into us and we're able to go on to the next. And take that very same energy, that very same love and encouragement back to our homes and our houses. And empower and, 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 and engulf our homes with what has just been imported to us. But if you all are in, engulfing around negative people and negative things and negative energy, then once you get through assembling yourselves together around that stuff, you disperse and take that mess back to your homes. And that's why there are individuals that, that come on this stuff and they just, they just want to say negative stuff. So what I do, I see it. And if I don't delete it, I keep strolling. What's the purpose of me feeding into that negative energy? Baby, I don't need all that. Baby, I do enough detoxing. And 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 skeeting stuff up and flushing myself out. I, I ain't got time for all that stuff. I ain't got time to be trying to cleanse my spirit of all these negative people and negative energy that these people keep throwing my way. Baby, take your jacked up self on somewhere. 
If you want to be negative and full of corrosion and corruption, God bless you. God bless you. Anyways, y'all, I'm glad you all are on. I hope you all have enjoyed today. I hope you all have enjoyed things that I've been saying. I love y'all. I really do. I like this. Um, I have a video that I'm working on right now. Um, and it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Some people are going to agree. Some people are not going to agree. But that's okay. I'm finishing up this. Uh, oh, and I got to call you. I'm glad I just saw your name. Some people will agree with Jesse Smollett. Some people won't. There are people, there are millions of people that agree because they've been on my page. They agree with Jasmine Island. And there are millions that don't. It's okay. It's okay to have your own opinion because me personally, honestly, after watching the videos, I don't believe she was raped. I don't. Like, I'm just being honest. I don't believe it. I, I don't believe it because the video, I'm like, okay, she didn't say rape. The social media said rape. Social media said rape. She's not coming after him. She's going after the club. Now, the thing with Jesse Smollett is this. You said the people attacked you. At first you said they were black. Now you're saying, I'm sorry, first you said they were white. Then you said that they you didn't know who they were. They didn't have a hat on. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to roll with you, pimp. Because in the back of my mind, this story sounds just as sketchy as Jasmine Island. And I got a little bit more I want to talk to y'all about, but I'm going to say that because I got a little, drop a little bug in your ear because it was very interesting how all of this came about. Oh, it's very political. I'm, I'm going to leave that with you. Jesse Smollett situation is very political. Don't be confused. I love y'all and I appreciate you. And I 